Now, my old buddy Joe, Joe the plumber's out there. Now, Joe, Senator Obama's plan, if you're a small business and you're able to be, and you're, the guy that sells to you will not have a capital gains tax increase, which Senator Obama wants, if you're out there, my friend, and you've got employees and you've got kids, if you don't get, adopt the health care plan that Senator Obama mandates, he's going to fine you. Now, Senator Obama, I'd like, still like to know what that fine's going to be. And I don't think that Joe right now wants to pay a fine when he is seeing such difficult times in America's economy. Yeah, I, Senator Obama wants to set up health care bureaucracies, take over the health care uh, of America through, as he said, his object is a single payer system. If you like that, you'll, you, you'll love Canada and England. So is the that point your is, objective? It, so, is, it, it, it is not. And, and I just well, described it. I, 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 I just described what my plan is. Uh, and I'm happy to talk to you, Joe, too, if you're out there. Uh, here's your fine, zero. Uh, you won't pay zero? a fine because, zero, because I, as I said in our last debate, and, and I'll repeat, John, I exempt small businesses from the requirement for large businesses that can afford to provide health care to their employees but are not doing it. I exempt small businesses from ha having to pay into a kitty. But large businesses, they can afford it. We've got a choice. Either they provide health insurance to their employees, or somebody has to. Right now what happens is those employees get dumped into either the Medicaid system, which taxpayers pick up, or they're going to the emergency room for uncompensated care, which everybody picks up in their premiums. The average family is paying an additional $900 a year in higher premiums because of the uninsured. So here's what we do. We exempt small businesses. In fact, what, Joe, if you want to do the right thing with your employees and you want to provide them health insurance, we'll give you a 50% credit so that you will actually be able to afford it. If you don't have health insurance or you want to buy into a group plan, you will be able to buy into the plan that I just described. Now, what we haven't talked about is Senator McCain's plan. He says he's going to give you all a $5,000 tax credit. That sounds pretty good. Uh, and you can go out and buy your own insurance. Here's the problem. Uh, that for about 20 million people, you may find yourself no longer having employer-based health insurance. This is because younger people might be able to get health insurance for 5,000, young and healthy folks. Older folks, less healthy folks. What's going to end up happening is that uh, you're going to be the only ones left in your employer-based system. Your employers won't be able to afford it. And once you're out on your own with this $5,000 credit, uh, Senator McCain, for the first time, is going to be taxing the health care benefits that you have from your employer. And, and this is your plan, John. For the first time in history, you will be taxing people's health care benefits. By the way, the average policy costs about $12,000. So if you got $5,000, and it's going to cost you 12000 that's a loss for you.